welcome back to my channel. I've decided, I've decided to not be selfish. <laughs> Do you know how if you find a really good resource for something that's rare and you say, well, I don't know if I want to share it with everybody because then there won't be any left for me. Well, I've been like that up until today. Now granted, it's only the second time, but TJ Maxx, Marshalls and Home Goods also have a company called Sierra. Sierra is um, Sierra.com. It's basically they've got clothes, outdoorsy type stuff. Well, they're also my resource for Ray Dunn. So I figured today this is a really heavy box. I'm going to share with you. Um, what I bought this time. So this is only my second time buying from them. So I thought I would share with you the first time. This is from back in October. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I ordered from Sierra. And uh, you'll probably notice by the thumb hole that this is Ray Dunn stuff. So just to give you a little background, Sierra is part of the TJ Maxx Marshalls family. Um, they do outdoor stuff, but I got an uh, email from them that they had all this Ray Dunn stuff. Some of it was on sale, some of it was like just what you would pay at TJ Maxx. Um, and I got free shipping, which made it worth it, and I didn't have to dig around and hunt. But we know, sometimes the hunt is half the fun. Um, it did come in three different boxes, so I will ask for your patience. Um, and I, of course, will always put the prices down below. Normally, I add the prices with the shipping, but since the shipping was free, it'll just be the price of the item. Um, so definitely check them out. I found them on the TJ Maxx website. Um, start with the first item the first item up for a bit oh everything's wrapped so nicely wow that's good I'm up. <laughs> tape on bubble wrap okay this more tape on more bubble wrap wow Good job, good job, Sierra. They weren't having nobody calls. What'd you say? They weren't having nobody calls. Yeah. Um, thank you, sweetheart. Okay. So the first box. The first box. So I might have bought some stuff to share with Emily, but I'm not really sure if I like it yet, or if I like her. Look how well it's packaged. That's amazing. So what I bought was my second and third Ray Dunn coffee mugs. Um, but this one says coffee and this one says tea. Because if you know me and this guy, it should be like this. Because I drink the coffee and he drinks the tea. But it's a really nice size mug. Rude. Rude. I love that. Emily does it sometimes when he yells, and I just now it's like my new favorite thing to say. Even when he's not being rude, I just like it. <laughs> so I got these, I think they were $12.99. I think that's the regular price you get at TJ Maxx for two cups. Um, but I just was like, build that collection, girl. So the next box probably has a ton of bubble wrap in it, so I'll edit here. Jim, is that a bird out there? Is that a bird? Look, it's a cat on the food. Oh, it's so jerry it's so jerry so again it was packaged really really well i had this around the stem and tons of bubble wrap but i bought another cake plate for my collection i mean in all fairness when i moved here there were four broken <coughs> so this beautiful giant cake stand that says tasty and of course ivory um what i was just saying was i do have a smaller like cake stand that i use whenever company's coming that's from starbucks believe it or not and has a little bit of wave and it's the same color ceramic um and this one will be such a nice compliment because they're two different sizes and heights so you know we keep butter out because as long as you keep it airtight it is sort of um it's a, it's fine especially the salted butter so i found these really cute butter dishes 
This one says soften up. And I thought it had something written on the bottom, but what I realized just now is that I actually ended up getting, oh, that one has something on the bottom. So this one says soften up. And this one says lay it on thick. I think this is the one I definitely intended to, have, to give to Sally or to keep at my house for Sally. Um, and it looks like it's gonna be big enough to even hold the carry gold, which will be great. Um, <laughs> Jim's excited about that. Um, so I picked up two of them. I think that they're relatively inexpensive. So this is actually for Emily. So it's a cup that says family tradition. And I got this to her, for her to be her first pieces. These will be your first pieces, right? It wasn't glued or anything. It's okay. It was just sitting on the bottom. I mean, these are your first pieces, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So I got these for Emily because I thought a, a play on words even, that family tradition, because I, I told you guys in the other video, she's like my surrogate daughter. And I thought it would be a nice tradition for her to start maybe like every year on her birthday. We'll get her another piece or Christmas or something. So these are for you. I didn't know you were going to be here. I actually thought I was going to have them for you before. I... And this totally made me think of her. Now, she, we did make her that little mason jar thing that says pour, I mean, stir, whip, but we didn't actually write anything on it, did we? Okay. So we did, made her the little crate that holds her mason jars, but I thought this would be really cute for her utensils on her counter because it's nice and tall. It reminds me of mine, um, but she can use it as a pitcher too. I don't care. She likes tea, all the things, whatever. And I just thought it was super, really cute. I think it's a one liter or perhaps one quart. Um, but now she has her second and third piece all at the same time. And fourth because of the butter dish. So I got her some stuff. She got a new apartment, so I got her stuff for her new, cap, her new house. And now to continue. I am a TJ Maxx Rewards credit card holder. So whenever I use my TJ Maxx Rewards card on TJ Maxx stores, I get... Well, you get a percentage back when you use them on anything, but you get money towards TJ Maxx purchases, including Sierra. So I had some rewards points that I wanted to use and I went ahead and I looked for what they had for Christmas clearance at Ray Dunn and as well as what they had for spring. And I found some other things. So first thing is I found this shaving kit for my honey. I wonder if I could take the sticker off. Doesn't look like I can. But this is basically a special razor, basically uh, like old-fashioned sort of type shaving cream with the brush um, and he's just been growing his beard and um, he's been just cleaning up like his face and his neck and I just thought it'd be a nice treat um, he's been working really hard and he's been really spending a little bit more time grooming um, than he really has done since I met him um, and I wanted to be able to treat him and I figured that'd be a really nice gift for him so let's pull out. I love that they package everything um, for you to keep it safe. Um, I prefer, I know we, we all talk about like, oh, packaging, packaging and the environment. And I know it does take energy to recycle, but I prefer the cardboard packaging to plastic packaging, so. But when something is ceramics, you want it to be packaged properly. So these are the Easter cups. You get two for $12.99 and they're packaged beautifully. Um, this one says hop to it, and this one says love my peeps, and I love them. I, I don't know that I will just keep them out for Easter, <laughs> but I love that she put in the, in this beautiful light green um, box just for spring. It's so pretty. Um, so we have that one. We do have another set of cups. I got one more set of cups, and then I got... Yes, I wish there wasn't styrofoam and plastic. <laughs> I also don't want my stuff to break. So. The other set of Easter cups. 
And this box that they came in is really cute. It's a pink plaid. It's really pretty. And this one says good egg and this one says bad egg. And once again, I'm not sure that I'll just keep them off for Easter. That might be our all time type things, but they're so cute. Um, I think as I open more, I'll talk to you a little bit. You know, I said when I first bought my first Ray Dunn mug that this is a Jerry type of mug. And I will tell you that they are currently my favorite mugs to drink out of. The size, the heft, the flat bottoms, the straight sides, like all of those things that I love about a coffee mug are represented. Um, the thing that I never really touched on before that I'm finding especially, especially uh, not important, but helpful or especially yeah, important. Um, is that they have a really great, nice size handle that I can get like all of my fingers under. Um, I don't currently have one today because I didn't have any hot coffee today. <laughs> today I went to grocery shop with my honey and he bought me some, well, my 99 cent McDonald's. So, these are individual cups that I bought. If you could see how they came packaged. And they are this one says early bird this one says early bird they all say early bird I don't know that I bought four of them I gotta look at my ship being packaged because I'm pretty sure I didn't buy four of them Is it buy one, get one three free? Did they send me the wrong thing? Did I just get three free mugs when they done? Basically, I have four mugs that say early bird. I hope that wasn't an accident, but I will contact customer service if it was. And if it wasn't, thank you to Sierra. <laughs> I believe is my Christmas clearance. Yes, I got two of these Tis the Season plates. Oh my gosh, these are so heavy. Why didn't I think they were gonna be heavy? <laughs> but if you didn't get to see them at Christmas time, if you didn't see anybody have them at Christmas time, they're really big plates. They're like dinner size plates. They say Tis the Season and they have this really pretty um, stitching around the outside. The stitching is painted on, not etched in. So if you know anything about Ray Dunn, these, these are all etched in the glaze. Um, but the stitches is just painted on the ceramic. Right. Jimmy's gonna be like, who's putting that away? <laughs> Don't worry, I have a place for them to go. So one of the things that him and I talked about um, was we bought these laundry hampers um, from Walmart. Really, I wanna say they were really inexpensive. I mean, I don't know how much people spend on a laundry hamper. They were 15, like around $15 each. And they were really good for a while, but then they have these like bags in them and the bags are like mesh on the bottom and canvas on the top and it starts to like rip away. And I don't wanna say they're useless now, but now all of the laundry falls into the bottom and then the frames are starting to bend. So I don't wanna say you get what you pay for, but I found, <laughs> That Ray Dunn had some at Sierra. And when I was actually at TJ Maxx the last time, um, the last time I was at TJ Maxx, I saw that she had some like organizing stuff. She had these wire baskets with canvas lining. Um, sort of like the baskets that I love and I decorate, the, not decorate, but I organize the office and my closet and stuff. And I saw that she had them. And while I was shopping, I saw that she had laundry baskets. So, let me put it together for you really quick because obviously it was in its package. You saw me open it. <laughs> So there's a couple of things I really enjoyed about these is, okay, 
they are fully wire caged, strong. They do say laundry on them. Um, the other one, this one has a striped liner and it's white on the outside, but just striped over the edge. The other one I'll show you is uh, all this natural color canvas. But the thing that I liked about it is, and it's important, is that the bag goes all the way down to the bottom. So if you use, sorry, if you use a basket, a uh, laundry hamper with, um, and of course you guys know that the bag's reversible, so it can be all striped, just to tell you. But we're not, we're, we wanted it like this, I'll show you why. So you know if you've ever used um, a laundry hamper in a, in a holder, how important it is for the bag to go all the way to the bottom. Otherwise, when you throw your laundry in there, it pulls the bag out off the edges. So not only is this one just as big as the $15 one, it's got wheels. It's got a really strong frame. I kind of feel like this is gonna be my last laundry basket. And I don't know if that's like 100% true. It's got wood handles um, and the liner bag has the space where you can grab the handles and they wheel around. Um, we're getting older. <laughs> Thank God. Not a complaint, Lord. Um, we're getting older and Jimmy carries the laundry basket to the bedroom now and carries it. We carry it out here, but I said to him, look, it would be really great if we had them on wheels because as soon as you get out of the bedroom door, the rest of the floors are hard, are hardwood or, or finished laminate or whatever all the way to the laundry room and to here where we separated it and into the laundry room, you wouldn't have to keep picking it up. You could just wheel it around. So that was the real like selling feature. That and the fact that they were on sale at Sierra, because Sierra always has reduced prices. They were $23.99, which is only $10 more than I bought those crappy laundry baskets at Walmart. And I'm telling you, I, I do wholeheartedly believe that this is gonna be my last laundry basket. Let me get the other one out so I can show it to you real quick. So this one is the exact same, again, except the canvas bag. So this canvas bag is just natural canvas, not striped. This one is gonna be for whites and the other one's gonna be for colors. Hashtag don't segregate, but separate your laundry. Um, this one is also different because it doesn't have a tie. The basket doesn't tie, it has elastic. Um, which I don't know. I will actually test them both over time and let you know if there's a difference. If there's no difference, you'll never hear from me. <laughs> Only if there's a difference or a problem will you guys actually hear from me. So I think that's it. I will, I am going to check my email about these cups because I'm, I'm feeling I didn't buy four early bird cups. And I'm like, is, was it a set? Did, it, did they mess up? Did I mess up? It happens. I'm blonde. I'm old. These things, these things tend to, these things tend to happen. So if you guys have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Anybody you know loves Ray Dawn and wants to get it cheap. And if you haven't had, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And when you do, um, a little drop down menu will come. Drop down the menu, pick all notifications. And this way YouTube will let you know every night I upload a new video. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. And I'll see you next time. Bye. So weird. <laughs> I want to say there's no wrong reason to it, but. Okay. Hashtag YouTuber life. Oh.